Welcome everybody uh, to our webinar concerning the upcoming winter weather impacts at three o'clock. So uh, we uh, will get started. Don't want to take up, take up too much of your day. Uh, you can see on the main slide there that uh, portions of West Central and Northwest Minnesota are um, going to be upgraded to a winter storm warning, uh, potential for mixed precipitation, freezing rain, sleet, uh, changing over uh, to heavy snow with, um, and we'll get into that in a, in a second. Um, so the key messages uh, right now, freezing rain, sleet, heavy snow um, are, are going to impact a portion of the region, especially east of the valley. Uh, there's going to be another area of light snow that does move across along with increasing winds that will lead to um, areas of blowing snow and uh, leading to uh, some sort of blowing snow impacts. There is still some uncertainty that exists um, with the area um, where there will be winter storm warning impacts um, and just how impactful um, that blowing snow uh, that comes across the, the region tonight will um, exactly be. Uh, leading up to this event, there's been a lot of uncertainty as to exactly um, where that system to the south that's causing all the um, strong winds and severe weather uh, this afternoon, where exactly that's going to track, if it would track into the Great Lakes or if it would track into northern Minnesota. Um, probabilities are increasing enough for us to gain confidence that um, that track is going to be a little bit further west and north, uh, which brings that heavier precipitation um, two portions of, of West Central and Northwest Minnesota. Um, that track is still not completely nailed down. Uh, there's still a chance that it could track even a little bit further west. And um, with that, there is the potential that um, that winter storm warning uh, that you see on the screen uh, would be would expand slightly, uh, slightly westward as well. So moving on, uh, we're just going to kind of step through and give you some idea about the timing and um, the potential impacts um, uh, this evening and into tomorrow morning. Uh, so starting this evening, uh, 6 p.m., it's probably going to be dry, uh, but by 9 p.m., we should see precipitation moving into portions of the region. Uh, you can see down in uh, west central uh, Minnesota, that's where the heavy precipitation uh, should be moving into. Um, should start out as rain, transition to freezing rain, sleet, um, and then transitioning to heavy snow. And that really is what's going to lead to the winter um, winter warning impacts. Uh, we are expecting, um, we're pretty uncertain as to exactly how much freezing rain or how much snow is going to fall, but the combination and, and the rates that they're going to fall at um, should be enough to at least say um, warning type impact. So. Um, travel should become quickly become hazardous in that area. Once it does transition to snow, we are expecting snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. Um, and obviously the duration of those heavy snowfall rates will um, answer that question about exactly how much, how much snow will fall. Um, there is also the potential for increasing winds. Uh, we're just not quite sure how strong those winds are going to be uh, in combination with the, with the falling snow, but, you know, especially you get heavy snow, one to two inch per hour rates, that's already reduced visibilities down to a half quarter mile, throw wind on top of it. And you could be talking about um, at least near blizzard or, or even potentially blizzard conditions. And that's something to be on the lookout for tonight as well, um, kind of in that west, um, Southern Valley, West Central, Northwest um, Minnesota area, if those conditions do, do develop. Um, and then we do have that area of light snow moving into the Devil's Lake um, Basin as well, along with increasing winds um, that would lead to potentially near blizzard conditions at times, especially, um, especially in open country. As we move on to midnight, uh, so sometime between 9 p.m. and midnight, um, that kind of band of heavier precipitation on the um, southern Southern Valley into West Central and Northwest Minnesota should transition to all snow, continuing with those heavy snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. Um, and then with that light snow and um, in combination with the strong winds, those blowing snow impacts um, transitioning uh, to the east, uh, approaching the Red River Valley. And then as we move through the night, uh, 3 a.m., this is kind of a general depiction of what could be happening at 3 a.m., those heavier snowfall rates uh, will be dimish, diminishing and that area of light snow combined with the strong winds uh, will continue to move across um, uh, across the region into the Red River Valley and then 
um, eventually uh, by 6 a.m. and then into um, the daylight hours, likely exiting the region uh, by sometime around noon tomorrow. Um, Thursday morning commute likely will be impacted in some way. Um, right now, uh, we are expecting near blizzard conditions at times in open country, um, associated with this light falling snow and the strong winds. Um, the snow right now is crusted over, at, um, right? So the snow right now is crusted over. So it's really hard to tell exactly how impactful um, how impactful those those blowing snow impacts will be, just because we don't have um, a lot of blowing snow on the ground right now, and it would take um, you know to get consistent, sustained blizzard type conditions. It probably likely would take two or more inches of snow, which uh, the likelihood of that is seems pretty low at this time. So what are we talking about for expected snow and wind gusts? Um, this is kind of, you know, like I said, there is some uncertainty. So um, any area could receive, you know, a couple inches kind of in West Central, Southern Valley, West Central, Northwest Minnesota. Uh, but there could be some areas, depending on where that those heavier bands set up, that could receive um, more than six inches of snow. Uh, and then to the west of that, where that other general area of light snow is moving through, generally expecting, say, one to three, one to four inches or so. Uh, wind gusts, this is just kind of a, a depiction of what maximum wind gusts could be. I would say maximum wind gusts anywhere um, within our forecast area, let's say up to 50, maybe even 55 miles uh, per hour uh, at times. So that is what I have for you. Um, just some kind of safety reminders and, and whatnot. Um, again, freezing rain, sleet, and heavy snow will likely affect Northwest, West Central Minnesota this evening. There is still a bit of question as to um, exactly where those winter storm type impacts may be, uh, but we're confident enough with where that winter storm warning is right now to say um, that it, it will occur there. And then, um, Falling snow combined with increasing winds will lead to blowing snow impacts um, moving across the Devil's Lake Basin into the Red River Valley and eastward, ending at some point tomorrow morning. Um, morning, or yep, the morning commute tomorrow morning um, will likely be impacted in some way. So I thank you for your time. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free.